In this lecture, I will talk about the use case that you will be working on in the next few lectures. You will be developing a RESTful web service that will allow the end user to perform CRUD operations, create, read, update and delete on this product table. You, have, you can use, I am using MySQL server and MySQL Workbench is the client of MySQL server. You can use Oracle, SQL Server, whatever you want. The table should be product with four columns, ID, which is a number, name, varchar, description, varchar, and finally price, integer, or a number. So with four columns. Database interaction was a never uh, in the scope of this course, but since many of you requested, I am doing this, so please don't ask me to show you how to set up a database and all that. But you can use any database, only the connection string and the driver that you need will change. I will show you how to do that in lectures later on. So the use case is simple as I said. We will be developing a data access layer first and then a web services layer. The web services layer will have the product WS interface, the product WS implementation. And the product DAO is the interface for the data access layer and product DAO impel is the implementation class where you will be creating all the four methods to perform database operations. We will be using Spring JDBC to interact with the database and we will be wiring all our beans using Spring. So this dbcontext.xml is a configuration file for the data access layer. It is a Spring configuration file where we'll wire all these beans. Then we'll have a separate file for the web services layer where we'll configure all our web services endpoints, just one endpoint. And this endpoint uses the services provided by product DAO. So we'll inject the bean in DB context into WS context. We will see all that in the next few lectures. And at the end, We'll use the Chrome Advanced REST plugin to test our web service. The request will come to the web services layer or Apache CXF running on Tomcat. It will invoke our web services endpoint. Our endpoint knows that it should use the data access layer which will be injected by Spring. It will invoke that class which will perform the CRUD operations.